Thank you so much, ladies, for coming on to that sport about Juice yourselves and uh, give your name and also just tell me a little bit about yourself. Um, my name is Gay Jonathan Chavi Pesamalto. And uh, among many other things that I do, um, I work with a nonprofit to work to help survive the emergency. But uh, one of the key things that we're doing now, we're coordinating and working with power parties and coordinating professionals who are interested in promoting the ideals of the party known as Power in Nigeria. Thank you. Okay, now we Trying to um, ensure that um, we develop a culture of um, wellness in Nigeria. So the new company I'm with is going to grow and it's going to have some growth. Fantastic, thank you so much. So, can you talk a little bit about what COA is, who are the founders, and what is what's kind of the goal of this organization? And also give us a little bit of a contrast between the professional, COA professionals, and this organization. Okay, so COA into being about uh, 2009, it was founded. That's one of the main things that sets it apart. Now, people always ask, what does Koa mean? Now, Koa in different languages, it's actually a play on words. In different languages across Nigeria, it can mean different things. I'm a tea person from Bimini, so you can say Koa. Koa means you will take hold of it and put it somewhere or hold it somewhere. You know, um, in Hausa, it means everybody. And that means it's a party for everybody. Um, in the uh, Igbo, it means describe or explain, and it really signifies um, accountancy, uh, sorry, accountability, transparency, because so that's what the party stands for. Um, I think you wrote right, they said good things come. So basically, this is really about let good things come to us. Let, the party is really about working to make sure good things come for everybody. So that's the party. Now you're asking about the difference between the party and the party. Yes. So poor professionals, members of poor professionals are members of poor party. But the professionals as an entity and as a group is a body of people who believe they're an associated organization and associated with poor party. So a, 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 a number of professionals who really believe in the ideals of what poor stands for. Um, poor really um, is main ideology two things, social welfareism and modernism. And that translates to the fact that we really believe that every single Nigerian mm -hmm. deserves access, should have mm -hmm. access to justice, mm -hmm. to healthcare, to education, and all the great things that Nigeria could be, and the things that all human beings need to thrive and progress. But that is really is about the fact that we as Nigerians can find solutions for our problems based on science and all the different information at the tips of our, our you know, our fingertips, mm -hmm. and use that improve our country, improve our environment, mm -hmm. for the welfare of everyone. And what is the plan to become a bona fide power broker, for COA to become a bona fide power broker in Nigeria? We're working on that. As I said, I joined the COA party through EA, who has been my friend for a number of years, because I read their manifesto, and you know, it, it spoke to me mm -hmm. because um, I feel Nigeria presently is at a crossroad. Mm -hmm. You know, we're a country with um, so much potential, but we've been with potential for you know over 30, 40 mm -hmm. years. I was still talking about mm -hmm. So, you know, as a responsible citizen of the country, mm -hmm. you know, I can't I can't just sit back and you know just continue to complain mm -hmm. and you know, point fingers mm -hmm. and you know but I think it's now is the time for you know, individuals, mm -hmm. every person to you know, stand up and be counted. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. And I see Power Party mm -hmm. as the party for the masses. Mm -hmm. you know, I'm looking at it as a party that is going to sweep the nation. Mm -hmm. you know, because presently we have two strong parties mm -hmm. in Nigeria. We have the APC mm -hmm. and we have the PDP. Mm -hmm. And they've been in power for um, 
over 20 years, mm -hmm. and we as citizens, we can't, there is no dividend of this democracy. Mm -hmm. And when you look at it, you find out that this, part, this uh, party is just made up of recycled mm -hmm. people, mm -hmm. the same people that have not been able to get solutions for this country in 20 years are still the same people they have. So I think Core Party is, well, we are offering a new bill of politicians. We are saying we want to um, put forward politicians that are honest, transparent, intelligent, and focused. You know, in the, I think when we were growing up, we had like five main parties. We had NDP, we had UPM, we had um, PRP, and these were strong parties. So I feel Nigerians have been almost sold an illusion that we have to have one or two strong parties. Yes, yes. We can have five strong parties. Genesis. Mm -hmm. So Core Party is that party that is going to come and contend with this party that have not been to offer us. You know, and if you talk to every, if you talk to most Nigerians on the street, you, you to, people are disgruntled. People want something better, mm -hmm. but they don't know how to go about it. So mm -hmm. Core Party is the solution to those people's yearnings for you know, good government. Can you just touch a little bit, uh, expand a little bit more on um, why politics, why, why now, why is it so crucial that COA really takes its place now? What, what would you say is the point of that right now? Well, I'll speak, and I'm sure you might have speak to it, but really, we need to have a sense of urgency about our issues. I mean, we all have children, we have nieces, we have nephews. We cannot let them grow up the way we grew up, seeing our society fall to pieces, literally before our very eyes. And uh, one of the things we keep saying is, and as see Joma said, she said, we're offering a sort of, we want a very different set of conditions, we want a different mm -hmm. Our parents tended to stay out of politics, mm -hmm. you know, and they left politics mm -hmm. for the crop of people we see in there today, we have absolutely no integrity, we had a nonsense that keeps going on. Um, and we are saying, this is the time to seize the day, seize the moment. It's either now or never. If you don't start building now, when are you going to start? It's when our children are 30, 40. Mm -hmm. We have a whole generation who've grown up. They've not seen how Nigeria worked. Mm -hmm. The sad thing is, even the politicians we have in, in, in power now, as they like to call it, mm -hmm. they grew up with the best Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Scholarships, mm -hmm. they got excellent education, mm -hmm. excellent healthcare. Why should they mismanage it and why should our children have to grow up with that? Mm -hmm. So this is the time and now is the time. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things we also realize, and I think that's also something technocrats have realized. Mm -hmm. We all come from different backgrounds. You're my banking to the business mm -hmm. now. I was in banking and I did different things. Mm -hmm. I was an NGO. I, I worked in the UN mm -hmm. and then left and I run an NGO. And we are, politics determines everything. Mm -hmm. You cannot afford to stay at home. Mm -hmm. Because the politicians get in and they make a policy. Mm -hmm. So if they don't like your face, they don't like what, what they're what you're saying, you can make one policy mm -hmm. that will destroy every single thing you've got for mm -hmm. your life. So we cannot afford to stay detached. We mm -hmm. cannot afford to say, oh, politicians is, is for a dirty game. Politics mm -hmm. under power mm -hmm. will not be a dirty game or a determined to make it happen. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And with that being said, how do you how do you plan to change the status quo of the way politics is looked at? Um, I think first and foremost, the people who are involved, um, I think also COA is one of those parties. You know, when the founding founders of COA um, started, one thing that came out very clearly, one of the people that said, you know, I heard that at one of the meetings, um, someone said, you know what, let's build this party and let's gift it to Nigerians. Let's keep Nigerians as a party where they can come in and have a voice. Mm -hmm. You know, and they've been building that and building it, and it's time for Nigerians to come on board. Um, which is very unlike what the other party is. It's about who is the big money bag who's going to come in and take over their party. Mm -hmm. Who is not a party for big money bags? Mm -hmm. We're not looking for big money bags to come here and take over board. Mm -hmm. We're looking for everyone to have a hand to contribute mm -hmm. so that we can build the party and build our community. No, Koa is our party. Mm -hmm. you know, we 
way we look at Kua Kua is, um, is our family. Mm -hmm. Genesis is like, when we talk of Kua, mm -hmm. we're not just presenting to Nigeria another political party. Mm -hmm. We are presenting to Nigeria a platform mm -hmm. where anybody who has the intelligence, mm -hmm. the passion, mm -hmm. and the commitment to run for office, and who is going to um, who is going to toe the core line? Mm -hmm. Because what we are trying to create a new breed of politicians, mm -hmm. and when we say a new breed of politicians, we are saying people that are going to serve. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a difference. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're not talking of when we talk of politics now. Mm -hmm. We're talking of um, an investment. People uh, sponsor somebody to yeah. go run, mm -hmm. and when you run, you have to pay back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But core is a group of people who want to sell, mm -hmm. who have seen the gap mm -hmm. and have the expertise mm -hmm. to fill that gap, and are willing to even stake their money, their time mm -hmm. to yeah. make sure Nigeria works. Mm -hmm. So that is what we're offering Nigerians. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're not offering, the, the day of the days of money politics mm -hmm. is coming to an end. Yeah. You know, because I think even the people who have enabled these money politicians have seen that once a politician gets into office, you become irrelevant, mm -hmm. yeah. basically. And people go about uh, buying private jets and doing all kinds of things, but they forget the, the work that they came to mm -hmm. do. You know, but Koma Party wants to rebuild Nigeria. Mm -hmm. yeah. We want to go back to the Nigeria that was going somewhere. Mm -hmm. The Nigeria, when we were growing up, the future we saw and the future our parents saw yeah. that made them believe in Nigeria. We want to go and draw a road map for Nigeria. Mm -hmm. So that is what the Koma Party is trying, mm -hmm. trying to do. And we want to do it, like, we want to like, almost follow the model that we want to do. Because mm -hmm. power actually starts. Well, no, the thing I think the thing about Nigeria is that they do not understand that, that they have the power. power. They own the power. They own the, the power. power is in the, the grassroots mm -hmm. have the power. Yes. So we want to go back and remind the grassroots that you have the power. You can determine who becomes mm -hmm. president. You can determine who becomes governor. Mm -hmm. And you, you have to hold these people. Counselor. You know, and we're, we're building is we're building something. You know, when you're building something, sometimes you think that you are not, you know, that you're yeah. not serious. Yeah. What is what what the situation whereby you, as a resident in Happy Life Estate, you know your councillor. Yeah. Your councillor is answerable to you. He knows his responsibility. So we want to begin to hold people accountable. But if we don't hold people accountable, then nobody's accountable. That's why in Nigeria, when anything happens, everybody points to the president. Mm -hmm. But we forget that there are councillors, yeah. there are yeah. the the governors. So we need to bring back yeah. governance. Yeah. Yes, yeah. So that, that is what the power party is trying to do here, to, to create a model that works. And when Nigerians, the, the good thing about when, you know, when you're building something at the beginning, people don't even understand what you're doing. But when you start to fall into bed, Nigerians begin to see that look, these people are different. These people are different. They really want, you know, they, they are all about the grassroots. Mm -hmm. They want to get everybody involved in this mm -hmm. politics. You know, so mm -hmm. I think by the time we get people involved in what we're doing, then we see a, a gradual shift. Mm -hmm. When we can get the youth, get the university yeah, students yeah. excited yeah. about politics, yeah. so we get the, the market women excited, we get yeah. the children, mm -hmm. get your family excited yeah. about politics. Politics is not bad. Yeah. They are the ones that have made politics yeah. look bad. Politics, mm -hmm. politics is like mm -hmm. Exactly. So that's what, that's what that's the vision we're trying to create, where everybody is excited about who is going to be their governor, who is going to be their counselor, yeah. this kind of thing. So that, that is basically what the power party is trying to do. Yeah. I'm glad you mentioned the youth because I wanted to talk a little bit about women in particular. Um, every country right now seems to have a, doing some sort of big initiative on particularly women and empowering them and getting them and more involved in uh, business and just. Sure. Uh, Koa is the only party whose national youth leader is 25. He's an actual youth. Yeah. And um, Koa is also the only party that had a female presidential candidate. Wow. Uh, 
um, at the last presidential election. And she emerged based on competence. It wasn't about, we're just pushing her forward because she's a woman or anything like that. And um, that's very important. Obviously, you can see that uh, women are very involved, you know, people like if you're by myself, um, grow up professionals and mobilizing um, other people. Um, of course, we constantly say and say, refrain in Africa, oh, the youth are the future, the youth are the future. But the truth of the matter is mm-hmm. that the youth really are the future. Mm-hmm. And when we look, there's a, there's some meme that's been going around about the ages of the heads mm-hmm. of states in yeah. Africa. <laughs> and I think the youngest on there is what, 60 something or 69? I mean, I'm sorry, but why do you think Africa is lagging behind? I mean, you have a, a UK who, who had a very youthful prime minister, mm-hmm. and we've yeah. seen all of those on screen. We need to understand things change mm-hmm. fast, and things yeah. are changing fast. Mm-hmm. And you cannot have, I keep saying it, I'm not saying, uh, we're not into ageism mm-hmm. in the party. Yeah. But we're really talking about the need to have a more inclusive yeah. um, uh, government mm-hmm. with more, pe- more people at the table. You have a country where at least about, estimates say about 60 or 70% mm-hmm. of the population are young people, then those young people need to be adequately represented in the government. Mm-hmm. In the same way, if you have at least 55% or whatever of your population as women, mm-hmm. those women need to be involved in governance, mm-hmm. not in a token way, mm-hmm. but in a way where they're engaged, where they're their skills are being used, when their perspective is being brought to deal with national mm-hmm. issues and other issues that we're dealing with even locally. Mm-hmm. That is really, really important. So there is a lot that uh, COA offers, mm-hmm. and there's a lot of space within COA for young people. Um, I think a lot of the stuff you see um, about COA out in the, on our website, um, on Twitter, young youth focus of the party is handling. There's a lot of it, there's a lot of energy, and core professionals, for example, is coming to support that and also to sort of uh, help provide even further direction and support so that our young people can really stand up and take their place among the nations. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Um, okay, I think, yeah, uh, yes, I'm going to say that it's really the youth that are. Um, I think that they have so much to offer, but I also think that they've not been given the right role models. So, um, you know, all kinds of things have stepped in mm-hmm. to take the role of these role models. Um, um, basically, um, an average Nigerian youth mm-hmm. is not steeped in their culture. You know, if you if you if you don't know your culture, what you know, what can you export to the world? Yeah. That's what a great difference is. Which I sad and I'm sorry about that. It's true. You know, an individual that, is, that does not know their culture mm-hmm. will really have nothing to yeah. export to the world. So that is why you can see that most of our youth are they are not um, they don't even know that there's a gap. Mm-hmm. Because you have to first know there's a gap right. before you can fill in that gap. Right. You know, this is a time for the youth mm. to come and take their place mm. and begin to demand the kind of um, things that we want mm. from this country. Mm. But because they are not even aware mm. that there's a gap, mm. you know, the, the gap has been filled with um, you know, uh, music, um, entertainment. Yeah. You know, so mm. now is an opportunity mm. for us to to. to Give them something because everybody needs, like I'm all about, I love is everybody needs something to inspire them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because if you don't have something to inspire you, it's difficult for you to get up and go behind mm-hmm. any kind of yeah. you know, That is why we have the wrong candidates mm-hmm. in power because they didn't inspire anybody. Mm-hmm. So, you know, the people that should go out and you get the right candidates at, at home, mm-hmm. probably complaining. Of, but we need to inspire our youth because Nigeria has. I keep saying, I was saying earlier, mm-hmm. Nigeria has the smartest people on the planet. Absolutely, absolutely. Every country you go to, Nigerian youth are doing exploits, mm-hmm. but not for their fatherland. Mm-hmm. So now is the time for us to tell our youth that there is so much to be done back home. 
Do this, mm-hmm. and there's a platform to do it. You're not going to be swept or swept aside mm-hmm. and say, "Okay, you don't know what you're doing. Yeah. You yeah. know what you're doing. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Yeah. You are the ones that are going to lead this country to its promised land." You know, so the Power Party too has tapped into that, um, you know, the vacuum. Mm-hmm. And that's why she was saying that we are the only party that has a youth leader. So if, youth. Yeah, mm-hmm. if we can imagine mm-hmm. if the youth, the university students are inspired. Mm-hmm. Imagine if the young professionals are inspired. You know, nothing can stop this nation. You know, so we need to inspire the youth. If we don't inspire the youth, we're just going to be going round. But if we inspire the youth and the youth start by saying enough, and they are ready to take their country back, I bet you we're going to be say, singing a totally different tune from 2019. The other Very, very wonderful interview and um, look forward to uh, 